hello, welcome to Blender time. First let me just say that this video is not about what's new in Blender 2.8. It is also not a comparison between Blender 2.79 and 2.8. I just want to highlight the tools that in my opinion are useful in various modeling situations. Let's begin. We start with the select tool. I am now in edit mode. At top left. On this arrow head button, left click, and hold. We have four options. I will choose select lasso by highlighting it, then let go of the mouse button. You can operate this tool is five modes. I start with new. Left click and drag over these vertices. One more time. The new vertices are selected. What were selected are now deselected. Choose add. Drag here and one more time here. Now we try subtract. We drag to subtract these, and these vertices from selection. Next is difference. I drag over here. Notice the selected are deselected. The vertices that were not selected are now selected. I show you one more time. Last one is intersect. Let's drag over here. The selected vertices that were outside of the lasso are now deselected. Let's try one more time here. I have a detail tutorial that shows all these tools in both object and edit mode. I put the link in the description below. I recommend watching it if you want to know more about this tool. Next is the transform tool. Click on the transform button. On top left, choose face select. Select this face. The transform manipulator appears. To move, click on the arrow and drag. I undo by pressing Ctrl Z. Notice when I click on the manipulator, the cursor changes into different shape. This lets you know what mode you are in. Now, to scale. Click on the square, then drag. To rotate. Click on the circle, then drag. I highly recommend learning the shortcuts. G to move or translate. S to scale and R to rotate. Now we try the extrude tool. Click on the extrude button. Choose extrude region. Select a face. Click on the plus and drag. Do that one more time. Now we choose extrude to cursor. Press 1 for front view. Left click here, here, and here. Very fast and simple to use. The next tool is inset faces. Press on this inset icon. At top left, choose face select. Select the top face and drag. At bottom left, click on inset faces tab to open it. Here you can adjust the thickness and depth. At top left, you can choose different options. Let's try individual. Note that I am in face select mode. Hold Ctrl Alt and click here to select these faces. Left click and drag to inset individual faces. At bottom left, click on inset faces tab to open it. On depth field, I click and drag. This is how easy it is to add details using the inset tool. Let's try the bevel tool. We start by selecting this face. At top left, you can change the number of segments. You can also change the profile. You have to key in these values before you use the bevel tool. Now I click and drag. If I go back to the top and change the segments and profile, they don't work anymore. Instead, come to the bottom. Click to expand this tab. Here you can change the amount, segments, etc. Next tool is loop cut, click on this button to activate it. Hover the mouse over the mesh. Click to place a cut in the middle of the object. To slide the loop cut, click and drag. Then let go of the mouse button to confirm. One more time. Click drag release now i expand the bottom menu 
here we can adjust the number of cuts, smoothness, and so on. I click on the numbers of cuts field and drag. Click on the smoothness field and drag. As you can see, this tool is very useful for shaping your objects. At top left here, you can set up the loop cut tool before using it. In the number of cuts field, key in 3. Now every time I click, I get 3 cuts that space out evenly. I show you one more time. The next tool is the knife. To use it, just click. Drag. Click again. Then press enter. We can easily constrain the cut to 45 degrees increments. Let me show you. First, I left click. Then press C for constrain angle to 45 degrees. Then drag. Click again. Press enter. To cut through an object, just click. Now press Z as in zebra. This activates cut through. I now drag. Click again. Press enter. I spin the object around to show you the cut through. Now we check out the spin tool. First I select the top face. Click on the spin button to activate it. Press 1 for front view. Go to the top and click on the Y button for Y axis. Press shift and right click to place the cursor here. Click on the plus icon and drag. Now press 7 for top view then press A to select all. Go to top left, click on Z for Z axis. Press shift and right click to place the cursor here. Click on the plus icon and drag. Expand the bottom menu and key in 360 in the angle field. Press A to select all. To recalculate normals, press shift N. Press Alt A to deselect. And very fast we can create this kind of objects. The examples shown here are just an overview of what these tools can do. These are the tools, that in my opinion are some of the most useful when modeling. If you have learned something from this video, it would be great if you give it a like. Please consider subscribing to this channel so you don't miss any tutorials. Thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you in the next tutorial. Till then. Happy blending.